welcome back to my channel. So a bit of a different video for you today, as you can see. I wanted to share with you guys how I make my soy wax candles. It's one of my favorite things to do since I started my little business last year. And I think sometimes people assume that if you're a YouTuber or whatever, you have this whole team of people doing everything for you. And yeah, I wanted to show you what really happens behind the scenes and how I make all my soy wax candles here in my kitchen. As always, links will be down below to where you can get them. I have worldwide shipping with, for my candles. They can even go to the countries that the perfume can't. Um, so do check them out. And I do have offers on them. Like the more you buy, the more you save up to 20% off. Cool. So when I decided to make candles, I did a lot of research around it, of course. And I chose soy wax because traditional paraffin wax is, you know, made from like oil, like carbon products. And I wanted to use soy instead. It also like burns better. And I just think it's, it's better. It is more expensive for me to buy than the traditional like paraffin wax, but I think it's worth it. So this is how it comes. Um, it comes in a great big, really heavy box and it's kind of like little pellets, if you can see there, of soy wax. So the first thing I have to do is measure out how much I need. So I literally use my, my kitchen scales. Um, this is very like cottage industry. There are great big like candle making machines you can get, but um, I can't afford them. So first of all, I measure it out. So I put this on the scales and I know that this is 1,100 grams and this thing goes into my cauldron. <laughs> So this is literally like a witch's cauldron. It heats up and it's gonna melt the wax and we're gonna make the candle in here. Then it has this little tap that you use to then pour the candle. So here it is in the cauldron, ready to start melting. So the next ingredient that goes in is something called stearic acid. So this is something I found out when I was doing my research because soy wax is quite soft. In fact, it's very soft. You have to put a little bit of this in um, to help harden it. Obviously candles being shipped out to all over the world. So, you know, I want them to have some like stay intact and not melt or whatever. Though in general, soy wax candles do tend to look less like perfect than paraffin ones. I have an example here of one of my candles and you know when you order them sometimes you might find that there's a little bit of imperfections on the top but that's just something that comes with soy wax it's nothing to worry about so you only need a small amount of this around 10 percent of the total candle um, to go in and to help it set so the next stage is to put the actual fragrance oil in so today we're making my candy cane Christmas candle and the fragrance oil chosen by me um, candy cane I love that sweet minty candy cane scent and um, so I really and I didn't really think there were any candles around that for Christmas time that I could find so I wanted to make one um, I also have my Christmas tree candle for Christmas which literally smells exactly like a Christmas tree I love the feeling of like walking into your house when you have a real Christmas tree and you smell it when you first get it I love that smell so I wanted to recreate that so so I measure out that and I put in as much fragrance oil as I physically can. So it should be about 20% fragrance oil, which is much stronger than pretty much any candle I've come across. I wanted to make these like really good value for you guys. And like my whole thing is about creating fragrances that last. So my fragrance, my fragrance candles are super concentrated. You can literally smell them when they're not even burning, honestly. And all the reviews, you can check out my website, like verify that. So here's the oil. So I just pour that into my cauldron. And now I just wait until it's all melted. Then I can start putting it into the candles. So for candy cane, I'm using a sort of pinkish, um, pinkish reddish colored um, candle jar. These are my new candle jars and um, they're really nice, like a smooth sort of porcelain. Um, and what I have to do is stick the wick down. So the wicks come like this, they're really long. There's a lot of different wicks you can choose from actually. I chose like a high quality cotton wick and it has some paper filaments interlaced in it and that's all gonna help it burn evenly and also help with an like stop any sort of soot or anything coming out of the candle when you burn it. I know if you use a lot of candles, like I've used quite cheap candles in the past and sometimes you get like on the windows or whatever, a bit of a sort of sooty like 
paper, I don't know what it is, film, and it's coming from the candles, so you, sh you won't get that with this. So I think it's actually carbon, so it minimizes that carbon deposit. So I just stick these to the bottom. Okay, so once I've filled it, obviously the wick falls over to the side. So you have to use one of these to hold it in place while it's set. So that is now ready to be left on its own to set. Packing up the first pre-orders. This is Aphrodite and a Firefly Speech candle. So future Sophie here. So I'm gonna take you through the different candles that I have in my range. Starting off with the Aphrodite Firefly Beach. My Aphrodite fragrance, which is that coconut, like fresh mango scent. This is the candle that goes with it. If you check out the reviews on my website, I know so many of you are loving this. This is the best seller and it really works with the Aphrodite fragrance as well. It literally just transports you to a tropical paradise. It's amazing and because I make these so concentrated, I put so much oil in that they do smell and you do they do fill the room. You can smell them in the room even when they're not burning. So you do get a lot out of these. I put a little bit of lime in here so it's kind of like a mojito but it really is that coconut, those fresh palm leaves. It just transports you to a tropical paradise. And Another sort of tropical one is my Sunrise in Paradise, which is mango and pineapple. I did do a vote of what other candles you'd like me to make and pineapple and mango came top. So that's what I did. So I created that one. So any fans of like those fruity pineapple mango notes, definitely that one's for you. And it comes in the yellow ceramic jar that you can reuse. I've actually sold out of them all here in my apartment. So um, I can't show you it in person, but it is here on screen. And the same as well for Secret Garden. So this is for all you white floral fans, jasmine, orange blossom, some tuberose. It has a very green feeling. Perhaps you're missing the outdoors because it's getting a bit wintry now and you like your sort of the smell of being out in the garden. Think sort of English country garden, kind of inspired by the book The Secret Garden when I was a kid. I don't know if anyone else read that. The idea of sort of um, a sort of grand English house having this door in the garden that leads to a secret garden, quite magical. And that's what I wanted to recreate the, that feeling with my secret garden candle. I then have my limited edition Christmas candles which are Christmas tree and candy cane. These are limited so when they're sold out um, I won't be making any more and maybe I'll bring them back next year. You'll have to let me know what you think. But Christmas tree for me what I love is usually around my birthday at the end of November I will go and get a, a Christmas tree for my apartment and I always love coming home opening the door and I can smell that there's a Christmas tree in the apartment and I just love that smell. Um, always makes you feel like a kid Christmas time. So that's what I've created here with Christmas trees. So it is those fresh pine leaves like Perhaps you don't have a natural Christmas tree in your apartment where well, you can burn this and it will smell like it is real. Really universal, I think, in terms of like Christmas gifting, like who doesn't like the smell of Christmas trees? Um, so I wanted to make something that would be great for gifting as well. And then candy cane is that sort of American peppermint candy scent. Really minty, really refreshing. I think this isn't necessarily just something that you'd have at Christmas time. If you love that sort of peppermint, like those candy canes that you get at Christmas, this is what it smells like. And it combines really well with the Christmas tree one as well. And it has quite a clean feeling to it also. So I think this could be nice like in the bathroom or the bedroom. I find it really more, it's really addictive. Candy canes, like peppermint candy, isn't something we have a huge amount of in the UK. It seems to be very much an American thing. And I, I heard Taylor Swift mention it in one of her songs. And I just thought, oh, why don't I make a peppermint candle? And I haven't really seen any others that are like this. So this is quite unique. And this comes in this sort of pinkish um, ceramic jar as well. So there are deals on the candle all on my website that will be applied automatically at checkout. Like you buy two, get 5% off, buy three, get 10, then 15, then 20. So you can get gifts for everyone in your family this Christmas. 
and these all come in a Soaky London um, gift box as well. So guys, let me know what your favorite is and um, do check them out. Links will be down below and also let me know in the comments what other fragrance candles you'd like to see from me. Um, I do read your comments and try and create things that you guys want. So let me know in the comments. But yeah, and those are my candles. I love making them and it's been a pleasure sharing them with you. But thanks so much for watching. That's it for now. Do give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.